to have an effect on travel here in Portland. It sure did. Alyssa Harrington spent the day at PDX talking to passengers and police about airport security at our airport. Here at Portland International, we've seen one delayed flight related to the shooting at LAX, but a lot of extra security. Well, I'm surprised. Wendy Burton took off from LAX just 15 minutes before the shooting. And I'm sorry for the people that were in it, but, you know, I'm glad we got out before it hit the fan. Passengers Sue and Martin watched it unfold from their in-flight TVs. The people in my row, we were actually passing headsets back and forth to hear what happened. What was that like being on a plane watching what was happening at LAX? Um, we were glad we weren't at LAX, and um, we we're very concerned about the people in LAX. It's very shocking because their security is usually really, really tight. The shooting at LAX grounded flights, causing cancellations and delays. But at PDX, there was only one impacted flight delayed by one hour. Terminal 3 includes Frontier, Virgin, and JetBlue Airlines, but there were no direct flights here. Travel impact was minimal in Portland, but security was tight. Lieutenant Vince Jarmer with the Port of Portland Police says after what happened in LAX, LA, there were many concerns. What I consider to be copycat uh, things that could occur. So they increased their presence. We uh, consider this a layered approach to security. So uh, the further you get into the building, the more secure, the more eyes and ears that we have. Among the eyes and ears, TSA, port police, FBI, and air marshals. We saw canine units and an officer with an assault rifle. TSA agents are not armed. But Lieutenant Jarmer says there's always an officer who is within feet of the security area. We're doing our very best out here to make sure that um, we keep this area safe and secure as we can. If you're flying tonight, airport officials say that you should check your flight status online or contact your carrier to make sure your flight is still on time. At PDX, Alyssa Harrington, Coin 6 News.